Welcome back everybody, this is Malik, aka Chuck, and let's see if we can get through this thing, I've been trying to do this for like three times, but I think they're having some issues with the, the site tonight, but we are on basic nine, okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this thing, since the password is again hidden in an unknown file, however the script that was previously used to find it has some limitations. Our requirements are nothing more than some knowledge of SSI and Unix directory structures. Okay, so let's go in and take a look at what they say inside of here and we'll talk about it. Okay, so all well, network security Sam is going down with the ship. He's determined to keep obscure in the password file no matter how many times people manage to recover it. This time the file is saved in and there's the entire path that the file is saved in. var www.hackthesite.org html missions basic 9. That's where the hidden file is that we want. Okay, that's a huge hint. Now, in the last level, now this is speaking from the the guy who made hackthesite.org. In the last level, in my attempt to limit people to using server-side includes to display the directory listening to level 8 only, I have mistakenly screwed up somewhere. There is a way to get the obscure level 9 password. See if you can figure out how. That's the trick here. And the last line is perfect. This level seems a lot trickier than it actually is. Okay, and don't worry about the rest of it. Alright, so one hint, which is really not a hint, it's a give me. They gave you the exact path where the file was at. Now, this is so similar to what you did in level 8. Now, I have it down here. This is what we typed in in level 8. If you read that OWASP page on SSI, you understand this. If you understand this, you know what to change. The only thing that this whole line says is execute the command ls, which is a list, it's the same as dir and, and, and dos, that's, that's a directory. ls is the unix command to make a list of the working directory, dot dot forward slash. That told it to jump back a folder. Well, they told us exactly where the path was at, where the the hidden file is stored. So what do you think we should change? We need to take something out and put something else in its place. What if we take that out? And what if we put this in its place? Aren't we saying basically the same thing? Aren't we telling it to just give us a list of what's inside of our www.hackthesite.org HTML missions basic 9? This is true directory transversal. We played with it a little bit earlier. We didn't really transverse a directory more than we opened up a file that we weren't supposed to be able to get to. This, though, is truly jumping forward into a completely different folder structure than where we're at. Here's our problem, and that's what makes this one the trick. That's what makes this nine. It says, in the last level, in my attempt to limit people to using server-side includes to display the directory listed at level 8 only, I have mistakenly screwed up somewhere. What's missing here? Well, if you go back and take a look at most of the other levels, we have a box where we can type something in, not just the password box. We can't put this in here. It's a password field we can't 
pass a script through a password field. We can do a username field or any other field, but we can't do it through a password field. Therein lies the problem with this level. Where do we drop this command? So, give you the dramatic pause. Think about it. You can do it. In fact, there's a couple of places you can do it. But you were just there last time, so think about it. Try it out. Try out a couple of things. I'm going to give you a little pause here. And I'll be back and I'll show you the way I did it. Okay, so this is what I did. Let me go ahead and just copy this because this is the exact command that we need. I went to basic missions and I went to basic eight. The same place that we put the other command, I'm going to put this one and submit it. Alright, file has been saved. Please click here to view. That's his daughter doing her little PHP stuff. Okay, this is what's inside of missions slash basic slash nine. It's an index file, and it's this file right here. That's the one we want. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to back back out. I'm going to go back into, just so I can get the directory tree back up. I'm going to go back into basic 9. Paste that file at the end. There's our password. Copy it. Back out of it. Paste it in the password box. Submit it. And bam! We're in. So that, my friends, is basic 9. That is doing an SSI and directory transversal. Alright, we only have two more. Let's take a very quick look at basic 10 just to see what we got to take a look at. Sam used a more temporary and hidden approach to authenticate users, but he didn't think about whether or not those users knew their way around JavaScript. Okay. Please enter a password to gain access to level 10. Password. Okay. So, if you're still watching this now, you plan on playing with level 10, just Google JavaScript commands. And, why don't you just take a look at JavaScript and cookies at the same time. We have to understand that. Alright, so until next time, if you like these videos, boom, over in the corner, you're going to see the little subscribe to the channel. Over in the other corner, you're going to see one of my other videos, some random one, but some other video. Let me know what you think about them. But until then, you guys have a, a great night, and uh, be on the lookout for 10 and 11.